Welcome back to another product review. And today I'm gonna to take a look at the Art of Maya and the Three. Very excited to look at this. Actually, I haven't looked at this yet. It's just arrived, it's a bit delayed because it has a signature in it as well. So it's kind of lost in all the, the shipping delays and all that stuff, but I am very pumped. It's a fantastic show. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it on Netflix. It's such a great show, it's fantastic. Now, before I continue, hi, my name is JD and I do product reviews like these and I do a bunch of stuff on the channel. It's a quick little pitch. I do animation lectures and there's a bunch of stuff. Check it out if you like it, subscribe. If you don't, maybe I'll come into you later, but that's what I'm doing for the channel. So a quick little pitch, but let's get to the book. So my Maya and the Three, here's the back. Beautiful art already. It's your spine. That is the book in its glory. There you go. I am so pumped because I love the art style and I can't wait to see more of this. There you go. This is signed. This is why it took a bit longer. And look at this already. The designs, the colors, the cinematography, just everything. The renders were great. Forward here, we got cast little photos the creator introduction sorry I'm, i should go through this faster but i haven't looked at this yet and i am i'm already uh, oh i want to read through all of this character so this is what i was excited about so you get to see the evolution turntables i love stuff like this so this is already my jam princess maya look at that i love this here that shield there such a great design Love this already. And I always love this here, seeing like early sketches, not the final polished stuff or even this. I love when you see the very first explorations. That's what I'm looking for in art of books. But I do love this. Absolutely. This goes back into what I was saying before. If you as, a, as an animation student, look at these and then scan this, keep this. This is your reference library for mouth shapes and eyes and eyebrows and hairs and everything. Look at that. Keep that for inspiration. It's so great. Also fun character, Rico here. Same thing here. Look at that. Massive, massive mouth opening and facial expressions. Great. Also great. I mean, it's basically this book is going to be, it's going to be me saying great all the time. I do love this though. I got from this. The monkey mask, not wearing here, but it's great. These are cool, super cool. That's what I love. I love stuff like that. Such good reference. Even this here, I just look, again, the renders and the look cracks me up too here. Love this. I love that they're including this everywhere. Facial expressions, that's great too. That's great for posing reference. Come on. We got the dad here. Okay, I gotta go through this a bit faster. I am too fascinated by this already. This is a flip through, not a live reading, but come on. Love this. That's basically, yes, that whole page, double pages, yes. Love this character too. <laughs> nice. Oh, I love this. Oh, come on. Great posing, great face. Also cool. Look at that creature. Yeah, that is cool. Okay, this is not me stalling. I can't get that page, but I am looking at every single thing here. These were so great. She was great too. I really couldn't recommend the show more. Lots of action, lots of heart, great pacing. Look at this, look at that. Definitely busy in its design, but to me it was never overwhelming or in a way distracting where you didn't know where to look. Gosh, it was so great. Look at this, come on. Yes, oh man, I love this already. This goes into my Facial reference library right away. These will be separate scans. Let me go through this a bit faster. There's so much. Come on. We're just at the beginning. Oh, <laughs> yes. Wait, is that an arm coming out of the mouth? <laughs> Come on. Great. Let's flip through a bit faster because there's so much to look at. Oh, I love this. Because that's the cool thing about the show. There's so many characters. So an art book that... Definitely focuses on the characters. Oh, facial expressions, yes, poses. All right, we're getting to chapter two environments, which are just as impressive as the characters. Love seeing stuff like this here too. That especially, like a simple thing. Anyway, this will be, I need to do like a separate FNA or something about set design, composition, and just balance of adding environments and then your character and how environments can, I love this, how environments can 
kind of inspire you in terms of your animation and what to do. Oh, look at that. Oh, love it. That's cool. Can you imagine how much fun this must have been designing and creating all this? Great. Love that. Secondary characters. It's almost like bosses in a, in a game level. <laughs> nice. That's cool. Love seeing this here. So much. Ooh. Little island. That's cool. I love when they introduce little things like that in your artifacts. Just little details. I still would have loved to see, like, I know, I know. This probably no one cares about the very first scribble sketches of little plants and stuff like that. I just love seeing the very rough form to the final form. And come on, who approved this design? It cracks me up and it, it works so well in the show. I thought that was a skateboard at first, a longboard. These are great. Look at that. Ooh. Love this. Oh, every single character. These are super cute too. That's so great. It's like every character that's been designed, it's basically following the go big or go home. <laughs> like how can we plus this? How can we make this even more awesome? That was great too. Yeah. Look at that, just that. I mean, imagine you'd had this in CG. Like, oh, what you could do to animate it, climbing up or running around or, I mean, you could see at the scale, I would probably scale the characters up a little bit, but so cool. Oh, love these. Look at that. Posters, Underworld, awesome. Look at this here, awesome. Hold on, I gotta go back here. This guy's here. So great. I mean, these are great. I would love a poster with just that. Those kind of drawings. Super cool. Sorry, I know this is not a real flip through, but I had to look at how this guy hangs out there. These are so great. So cool. Love this. Storyboards, awesome. Inclusion of that. I mean, if you do check out the uh, creators, I was I would feel hesitant in the, in the pronouncing Guiteres, you know, four names. I don't want to butcher them, but if you follow him on Twitter, posted so much stuff that will add to this book in terms of his designs and explorations and his ideas and thoughts and references. Highly, highly recommend you don't just go with this book, but follow the creator. So great. I oh, got a ton of them. I love this. For each chapter. That's so great. Spoilers. <laughs> Continues on with awesomeness. That's cool. Love this. Color scripts are great. It's rarely, I don't know, I'd say rarely focused on, but there's so much that goes into production that doesn't get like the full exposure and making of. So cool. Look at that. These are awesome. And then you get the afterword. And that is also awesome at the end. Everything is awesome. Different franchise, but come on. Oh. There we go, Maya and the three, the art of. Okay, I definitely have to go back and read through this and go really page by page. Like some of those artworks are great to look at, hey, that's cool, put them back and then every now and then take them out again. This, again, for any animation soon, look at these. Whatever you can find online if you can't afford this, but, and or any other art of books, really make sure that you do keep a reference library. I mentioned this because I mentioned that yesterday in the Q&A from the class, but it's so important to look at that and not just go, oh, that's cool, and then put it away, but really, Take scans, look at them, put that into a library of only facial expressions or eye expressions or environments, or like ideas for your shots. This is why I love Art of Books. They gave me so much inspiration for shots and these ideas that you can, you know, pluck from different books and different franchises, different movies or whatever into a different idea that's then yours, definitely influenced, but still yours. And, and that to me is so important when you start as a student to have creative ideas, but you still have to have a certain influence and see what's out there so you don't copy things by accident. But I think that is such a great resource in terms of coming up with ideas and kind of pushing your animation. So definitely always study from life, film yourself for reference, but it's still important to look at what's out there, what other creatives are doing. So inspiring, I love it. Anyway, enough gushing. I love the show, watch the show, it's so great. That is that from me, not a quick flip through. There will be more, I got a bunch of books in the back. There's so much more coming, I can't wait. There's another one, actually, hold on. This one, very excited to go this one. This might be next. The designs are so great. I can't wait to go through this one too. Anyway, 
lots to come. And that's it. Tune in to, I don't know, whatever I'm uploading this week. Again, if you haven't subscribed yet, maybe that will uh, push you over the edge to subscribe and not miss any of those uploads. It's the typical YouTube pitch that we all kind of do, right? The like and subscribe type of thing. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. And hopefully I'll see you in my next upload.